Um, my name is Dave Atchison, and I live in Chinatown. Um, you have my written testimony, I believe, so you know I oppose the expansion of the sit lie laws. Um, I won't repeat that testimony in my verbal remarks, but I did want to elaborate a little bit. Um, I think the last exchange that we just heard is a good illustration of one of my main concerns. Um, the Island-wide sit lie uh, ban was appropriately rejected, I think, by both the council and the community at large for its, I think, what were considered obviously unconstitutional uh, characteristics. But I think what we have instead is a succession of sit lie expansions that essentially is going to move us to that same place. Um, and I think that the council should reassess uh, how that's working. For instance, um, let's, let's take uh, back when you first passed the, the sit lie um, exclusion laws and those first expansions outside of Waikiki. I think it was fairly key in your deliberations and your questioning of the, the city uh, what was happening with the uh, transitional uh, proposal for a facility at, at that time it was proposed at Sand Island. Regardless of whether that was an appropriate place, um, Consider now that that has kind of melted away. It's not totally gone, but it certainly hasn't happened on the time frame that they were promising you. Uh, the other thing is compassionate disruption was supposed to move more people into shelters. Well, we just had the uh, point in time count results released yesterday or the day before, and we've seen a 19% increase year over year in the unsheltered population from 2014 to 2015. So on that score, it's not working very well either. So I, I really encourage you to uh, reassess your strategy here and not make a situation worse than it already is. I think it's always important to keep in mind uh, the human cost of what you're considering uh, foremost in your mind. So because I live in the area, I walked over to the section of Baratania Avenue across from Alla Park between Alla Street and King Street. This is one of the segments that uh, Councilmember Manahan added when, with your amendment. Um, I talked to several individuals there, and I've, I, in my te written testimony, you'll, you'll um, hear about some of the people I met. But I want to tell you about uh, one individual named Jesus, who I talked to, who was quite eloquent about his situation and, and how he got to where he was. And I asked him, one of the things I asked him was, you know, how, how do things work in this section of the block? And he said, well, look, look around. The sidewalk was clear. The tents were maybe overlapping the sidewalk just a little bit. But he said, we, we do a good job of keeping plenty of clearance for the disabled to get through. We accommodate people with disabilities in our section of the street there. Uh, and I said, well, what happens if I showed them the bill? One of the things I wanted to do was walk over with the bill and show them uh, some of these new areas that were being considered. And I said, what will you do if the city council passes this bill and expands the sit lie to your area? And he kind of looked off and he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pitch my tent right in the middle of the street and they can run me over. So I guess I bring that up just to say that as you tighten the screw by passing each of these successive laws, you're creating a sense of desperation in these folks who are having to move from one area to another whose, where the rules are changing under their feet. With some of the floor draft one changes, suddenly across the street from all the existing zones are off limits. Suddenly there's this new definition of an expanded sidewalk area that can be off limits too. So I just ask you if you were planning to vote for this please look into your hearts and see if that's really the vote you want to make at this time, given the context and the lack of progress on getting people into shelter. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Members, any questions for the testifier? No questions?